Then Allah Ta'ala is reciprocating and He is also remembering you. How He remembers you, we don't know. But He says, I remember Him to myself. <coughs> and if He mentions me in an assembly, that you mention Him in a gathering and you remind people about Allah Ta'ala and you glorify Him and you praise Him and you encourage others to do the same, He says, then I mention Him in an assembly greater than it. He will boast about you in front of the Malaika. This is the Khalifatullahi ala al-Ard, my representative upon earth. Look how he conducts himself, that I created him and I gave him free will, I gave him choice, I didn't force him, but he never forgot me. I will boast about him to the angels. I will boast about him to the Malaika, the heavenly creation. Mala'il a'la, in the highest assembly, I will boast about this creation. If he draws near to me a hand's length, I draw near to him an arm's length. If he comes to me walking, I go to him at speed. Allah Ta'ala says, if you come, make, take one step towards him, then he will come much further towards you. Whatever you do for the sake of Allah, he will give you much more in return. Just yearn for him and see how he will love you. Strive towards him and see how he will reward you. Take a step towards him and see how he will draw you towards him. But make that effort. This is from uh, Bukhari Sharif Hadith. And Imam Nawawi in his Sharh of this Hadith, he says, the scholars say that expecting the best of Allah is to expect that he will have mercy on him and relieve him of hardship. So it means that one of the ways in which we expect the best of Allah Ta'ala, that we have a good opinion of Allah Ta'ala, is that we should expect that everything that comes from Him is good. That He will be merciful towards us. That we will seek forgiveness from Him and He will forgive us. And also that He will test us with hardships, but He will also relieve those hardships from us. That He will provide relief from every hardship which has been sent to challenge us. One of the signs of the awliya Allah mentioned in verse 62 of Surah Yunus. Ala inna awliya Allahi la khawfun alayhim wa lahum yahzanun. Know this, Allah, be aware, inna awliya Allah, surely the friends of Allah, la khawfun alayhim, they have no fear, wa lahum yahzanun, and nor do they grieve. Inshallah, we will resume from that point next week and uh, go through the topic in further detail inshallah wa akhiru da'wana anil hamdulillahi rabbil alamin